Hey guys, Michael Newrock here. Uh, I'm considering taking a trade on the pound. It's on the four hour chart. It's a sell. And uh, I've just been given the alert here of whether to click yes or no, whether to take the trade uh, from my trade assistant. So I'm going to move that to the side, take a look at it. It's gone through some recent highs, uh, but we've seen a nice trend trade um, form with RSI is down, MACD is below the zero line, Stochastic is crossed over. Of course, overall direction is down with four out of the six high time frame indicators specifying a downward move. My fast moving average has crossed over my slow moving average and my trend follower has changed from green to red. So all indicators are telling me that there's a good opportunity here uh, to make a few pips. So stop would be around 40, 50 pips thereabouts, just above the, the uh, slow moving average. And I've got up to 100 or 350 pips to the downside. So I'm gonna take this trade and there you go. Small risk, big reward. That's what I like to see in every trade that I take. Um, I'm not scalping the market. I'm looking at uh, at making some serious money. So I've got uh, just under 100 pips to this uh, recent low um, and it's about 40 pips on the stop. Uh, about 260, 220 to, to this point here, which may act as support and uh, all the way down to almost 400 pips. So, you know, could be great. Um, could be ordinary, could be bad. I mean, that's the way it is with trading. Whenever you take a trade, you are taking a risk, uh, just like anything in life. So I've taken this trade. I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to come back with an update as soon as I can. Okay, I'm back. I'm on the pound. Uh, this is the four hour and uh, very nice. Uh, 2000, just over 2,700 bucks in profit. Uh, my stops have already been moved by the Profiteer management system. Um, you know, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. It went uh, down, then went back up. Um, now it's gone down again. And, uh, you know, it's looking good. I am feeling a little nervous about this giant consolidation zone to the left. Uh, and you can see here that we're getting really down to those support levels. But, you know, I've got profits locked in. Uh, that's the name of the game. You know, no one ever went broke from uh, locking in profit. So I've got 70 pips on my first position and around 20 pips on my uh, on my second position. Currently, we're uh, we're cruising on this trade at around 105 pips. So I'm going to let my trade management take over from this point here. It's all automatic. Whatever happens, happens. It is a downward move currently four out of the six high time frame indicators are showing that this uh, this pair is still in a downward move um, you know rsi still below the 50 macd is still below the zero line stochastic is looking perhaps arguably a little oversold uh, but we shall see um, i've got profits locked in so i'm in a win-win situation and now i can enjoy the trade uh, enjoy the ride for uh, as long as it lasts Okay, here we are on the trade. It's been a little while since my last update. Uh, 955 bucks is what my first position was closed at, uh, with just over 1,080 on my second position. So, uh, you know, just under 1,000 converted from equity into my account, into capital, and, uh, you know, just over 1,000 on my second position. Now, it's changed to bi directional. Okay, three of my high time frame indicators are now saying that it's going down but the other three are saying that it's going up so uh you know i'm happy you know it's a it's a winning trade already whatever happens on this next position this next o current open position is uh is is whatever happens but at this stage i'm a winner so uh that's a great place to be and a great position to be in when you're trading always try to get into that win-win situation as quickly and as easily as possible so uh once again i'll uh pause and come back as soon as we have another update hey i'm back and uh uh, this is looking good. 1,800 bucks in my second position. And now, of course, I've already converted about, uh, what is it, 955 uh, from my first position into capital. Currently sitting on about 130 odd pips uh, and uh, reached even higher than that as the, um, the, the low so far. Um, but now this is what I've got my eye on. 270 pips 
to the uh, to the key low here, and uh, you know we're looking good. It's still bi-directional, uh, but uh, you know it's been moving down with this latest swing just to the left. Uh, two bars to the left, you can see that it's been moving, you know, quite seriously down. So this is the daily chart, and you can see here it's entered or just about to enter uh, a downward move. So it, it's looking, it's looking good. Uh, the, this is the weekly, and you can see here, and and this is what I'm, I guess, really interested in. Uh, we've got three hundred and ninety odd pips, just under four hundred pips. To the downside, to the um, the recent weekly low. Okay, so the market very well may test it. And you can see the MACD is still under pressure under that zero line. So um, we're just on this support that I mentioned earlier in this trade, and uh, it's it's broken through, but just sitting on that support right now. So a uh, little bit of a nervous time. I'm going to just let this ride. Um, I've already converted about uh, just under a thousand dollars into capital i've got my open trade currently now it has moved down i could lock in profits but in, in this case maybe i should maybe i shouldn't but in this case i'm going to uh to, to to leave it as is and my trade will continue to uh to trail price via the PSA that it is on currently uh so we shall see what happens uh shortly i'll be back as soon as i have an update and I'm back, and I'm out. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen. Just just over twelve hundred dollars in uh, in capital uh, added to my account. Uh, but take a look at the swing up. Holy guacamole! I mean, over a hundred pips. Uh, I guess this is the story. I'm, I'm almost too uh, too embarrassed to to show this particular trade. But um, you know, I got a nice consolation prize. Just over twelve hundred bucks. Twelve hundred bucks is twelve hundred bucks uh did i screw up uh yeah i, I probably did and, and 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 that's why you should always assess your trades after the fact you should write a trading journal and uh you know jot down what you did well in that trade what you did bad in that trade so you're you're assessing yourself all the time on your winners and your losers um you know i'll walk away with this as uh, as a winning trade and hold my head up high um but um but I'm kicking myself, and um, I'm, I'm going to to, uh, to to use this as a positive experience uh, to remind me in the future uh, to follow my own uh, advice and lock and profits. Now, this one did move quicker than I had thought towards the end there, and I, I really thought it would be followed by another downward move or a consolidation at the very least. It usually goes that way, but. You know, this just goes to show that anything can happen in trading. Expect the unexpected, uh, even if it's against your will, uh, because the market doesn't give a hoot about your will. The market's going to do whatever it wants to do, and that's why many people call the market the beast. Uh, and uh, it is to be respected um, at all times. And uh, if you do that and you trade well and you manage your trades well, then... Um, then you, you're way ahead of the pack uh, of making a go at uh, making some consistent pips uh, through trading. So again, uh, just on my own self-analysis of this trade, it sucks, but yeah, I walk away with 1200 bucks. So, uh, so, you know, that's a good thing there. Uh, and um, <laughs> I'll leave it at that. So until next time, good trading, live well. Uh, remember to lock in profits, and I'll see you soon.